Hello and welcome to another Budget Model Railways Tutorial Tuesday. So quite a crucial thing with model railways that we're going to look at tonight, uncoupling tension lock couplings. I discovered recently that you could use something as simple as a bent paper clip. However, that's a little fiddly uh, and I've usually attached them to sticks, but I saw a good little idea. So um, I bought this cheap on eBay the other day, cost me £4 including postage. Anything by CJ Freezer, uh, Cyril Freezer, is worth reading, always is. Um, and I found a couple of things in here, including a track plan, but I also found this. Great little idea uh, for using similar thing, a hook, but I'm gonna use a paper clip, a piece of pole. But look at this for an idea, a torch. And I struggle uncoupling sometimes, I have to put my glasses on, and I thought this might be an interesting thing to try. So here we have all that we need. We have some insulation tape. These are gardening skewers. They came for a big pack for about 99p uh, from Poundland. I use them for all sorts of things. They're usually that much longer. Um, I've cut this one down to the length I want. We have a paper clip and we have this. Uh, and this I saw yesterday. This was from Wilco. I guess you can get them from Poundland and all sorts of things, but it's a bit smaller than the Poundland one. Quite a nice bright torch. Cost us £1.75. So uh, there we go, little Wilco, little Wilco uh, micro torch. So we're just going to cut the label off now. You've seen it. Just going to take this one off. Take this off here. We'll leave that on for the moment. So we've got our torch. Obviously, what I'm going to do is just insulation tape it onto there. Right. What we're going to just do is get a bit of insulation tape, and we're going to stick the torch to the stick whatever it is you've found as a stick. Should be relatively straightforward, I'm hoping. A little bit blue Peter for anybody that remembers it. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on at the front so that it still lines up nice and straight. There we go. And then we've got to get this on, which will be a little bit more fiddly. So you have to bear with me on this one. This is just to get the paper clip onto the pole. And what I need to be able to do is just bear with me, please, on this, because I've got to make sure I've got the clip over the front of where the torch is. So this is a little fiddly for people like me that are a bit naturally cack handed. Can we spin the hook there we go. That will work quite well. Just put another little bit on. You could use whatever colour tape you like. I just happen to have red. And that should enable us then to have a little uncoupling hook with a torch just so that you can see the couplings in dim light. So we'll show that working now. So there we go. Look at that, nice and bright. I can see exactly what I'm doing and uncouple. I think that's quite intro, quite, quite different. Look, I can see exactly what's happening, uncouple them and turn off. So I'm quite pleased with that. That's a good little tool, look. There we go. So there you have it, a nice, simple little high-tech uncoupling tool for your OO gauge tension lock couplings. Um, let's see what you think of that. Um, that's about, I don't know, two quids worth there, but it's a bit of fun. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.